For the cop and welcome back to josh and bethany we just can't decide and we need your help you tell us what you like okay so today we are going to be making kind of a crazy dish it's going to be mexican street food in the cast iron skillet elote think elote think a little bit of spice think you know those corn in the cobs mexican street food elote nachos yum a little bit of oven baking, a little bit of cast iron, a little bit of corn, a little bit of tortilla chips. It's going to be epic, 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 epic. Elote nachos, here it comes. Babe did the intro, and yeah, Babe's merch sales going great. You guys, look at this design. Look at this design. Look at this design. Link below, link below alert, merch. Babe's merch, support Babe. Yeah, Babe. Get some of Babe's merch that she designed. Thank you to everybody who has so And if you bought Babe. merch, or if you're going to buy merch, send us photos, send us videos, send us something so we can put you in a video. Yeah. All right. Without further ado, it's Mexican street food, nachos, elote. Let's go. Here we go. Party time. Woo. Okay, babe. Okay, babe. So I have all my ingredients here and I want to share with you. So we have cotija cheese. It's not cojita. I always pronounce it cojita. It's cotija. Uh, Monterey Jack or corn. Frozen corn. Frozen corn. Um, cilantro, our tortilla chips, our crema. You can use sour cream or whatever you want. We're trying this because it seems like it would taste better. Salt, pepper, chili powder, and we're using some Uncle Steve's shake, spicier. <clears throat> I found this recipe a few times, a few places I've seen it. You could use and paprika so, instead. Yeah, so I am doing my own spin on it. Limes. Limes, because I miss street food in LA. Yeah, because you can't and, go outside. And <clears throat> this is a Serrano. It's a little spicier than a jalapeno. Yeah. Use whatever you want. There we and go. I have my cast iron. Okay, babe. Let's start building. So I picked a steam fresh bag, huh, babe? You did. Oh. That's okay, babe. I was with you. I wasn't paying attention. <laughs> this is still going to be just fine. Okay, so cast iron on the stove. Little Chosen Here's Foods some. avocado, avocado oil. oil. We're going to warm up the corn. And I just want get it, to get it nice and hot. Mm hmm. All right, let's fry this corn up. Okay, so I have the oven preheated to 375 because we're gonna build our tortilla chips and our cheese first in the cast iron. This is gonna go into a pan. We're gonna hold that. We're gonna put the tip chips and the cheese in and then we're gonna pull it back out and then we're gonna put it all together. So the moral of the story is you gotta get your corn hot now because this is the only time that's getting cooked. Correct. Correct. Okay, babe, now I'm going to cut up our serrano. Am I leaving the seeds in or no? Like, what should I do? Well, you're going to cut it super, super fine pieces. You're yeah. going to, like, chop it really, really fine. Right, so... So, yeah, I mean, I don't know, whatever you think. Like a whole one? That, that's enough, yeah, those are pretty hot, so... Okay, babe, our corn's nice and heated up. So I'm going to scoop it in here, and then I'm going to set it aside, build my chips and cheese, put that in the oven, and then while that's in the oven for five minutes at 350. 375. 350. It was 375. I'm going to Here, there, let's look at the oven right now. Oh, it's 375. Oh! But I believe it's 350. No. It's supposed to be 350. No, babe, burn! Okay, so I'm gonna lay all my chips in here. You're building layers of flavor. Mm -hmm. Now you can use any chips you want. Our favorite, if you're buying store-bought, are Juanitas, but my absolute favorite are fresh homemade from the store. I homemade from the store. Like the store makes them. Homemade from the store. <laughs> yes. These are the best. They go stale the quickest. They're the most expensive, but they are very flavorful. Okay, I'm gonna put some cheese on. So we have our layer right here, our first layer. Okay. 
We probably don't need much more than that. I mean, it's just us. Probably need a buttload of cheese. Mm -hmm. Okay, I'm gonna try and make it look pretty. We'll see. We'll see what happens. <laughs> Doesn't seem like it's working that well, babe. Yeah, I don't know if that's gonna work or not. It's okay if it doesn't. Right, does that look somewhat cool? Yeah. Okay. What's your plan now, babe? Put the rest of the cheese on top of that. You're using a whole bag. You're, you're getting down with it. Oops. I'm getting down with the mess. Perfect. Good? Yeah. Okay. Alexa, set a timer for five minutes. minutes. Put in our jalapeno, or I mean our serrano. That's pretty spicy. Well, okay. the store was out of jalapenos, babe. Yeah, they were. Put in some pepper. Some salt. Okay, sorry about that. We had my phone on, uh, because we were waiting for a houseboat rental place to call back and it was very important. So you missed me putting the salt in. And we're not getting the houseboat. We're not getting the houseboat. I'm so sad. We've been waiting all day. But you basically put in salt, pepper, you put in your pepper mm -hmm. that you chopped up and now you're doing the juice of one lime. Juice of one lime. And don't worry, this isn't all the lime juice. There's gonna be more later. Yeah, don't worry. More. I am like a citrus fruit freak smashing machine today. Yeah, babe, you're, I don't know what is going on over here. Yeah, those are great fruits. Okay. Okay. Cool. Anyway. Pepper. Salt, pepper, lime. Mix. Okay. Okay, five minutes is up. Oh, melty goodness. We did five minutes. Now I'm going to build. We're going to put our salt, pepper, uh, serrano, corn mix on here. It looks so tasty. I'm very excited. This one is, this is actually my favorite cheese, like ever. I love this stuff like a fat kid loves cake. Okay, I'm going to mix this up a little. Here we go. Next up, we have the yummy crema. Oh, this stuff is so tasty also. Little chili powder. And then next we're going to use the Uncle Steve's spicier shake, but you can use paprika. This does have paprika in it, so we thought it would be kind of fun because we love Uncle Steve's shakes. Okay? Ready? Okay. We're going to put some cilantro. All and then right. your final touch. Final touch, juice of one lime, just for fun. I think that's enough. One juice, half a lime. Juice of half a lime. Yeah. And it's such a nice day outside. We're moving outside and we're going to enjoy this gigantic plate of elote nachos. What do you guys think? Pretty creative idea to make a little plate of nachos. You might need a spoon, babe. Since you made it, you get to go first, babe. Let me see the bite. Let me see the bite, babe. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, it's messy. Oh, oh my God. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Nope. That was exactly what you were missing? What I was hoping for. You needed some street food oh, in your oh, life. Man. Is that too close to my brain, babe? No. Sorry. Hopefully the editor will make me look juicy and delicious. Well this thing's like above my head, ten feet. Okay, babe. I'm so Here short. we go. You like? No, 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 babe. Sounds yummy, huh? I, think I thought the lime juice was gonna be too much. It's not. It gives that like, ding. Yep. It was really good. All right, guys, make that. Sit outside, enjoy a margarita. Oh, babe, let's do a margarita video, too. Coming up next. Coming up next. Margarita, elote, nachos. It's a nice day outside. And get your merch, tank tops for the pool, babe merch. Yeah, all right. See you guys in the next one.